Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris here. In this quick video, I'd just like to share this tip with you, which helped me reclaim a ton of disk space from Xcode. I don't know if you've noticed, but Xcode actually takes up quite a bit of hard drive space. I recently joined this mailing list called iOS Dev Nuggets. It's a free newsletter that comes out every Friday, Saturday with bite-sized tips and tricks for iOS development that often only take a couple of minutes to read. Um, it's curated and created by Hui Boon. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, but there's some really good stuff here. So I was browsing the archive and I came across this one, Reclaim Disk Space from Xcode. And I was curious uh, how much uh, disk space Xcode was actually using. And I'm not going to reveal it right now. Let me just show you as I delete it in front of your eyes how much space I'm reclaiming. And I'm just going to demonstrate it right now. You go into Finder. Uh, drill down into your hard drive and you're going to see the library folder. You can see here the paths that we want our library developer Xcode. And it's not this one, but it's actually the library folder specific to um, your user account. So as you can see under Chris here, there's a library folder. This is the one you want. Now, if you don't see one for yourself, you actually need to, um, it's hidden by default, so you need to reveal it. And what you want to do is you have to go into your user account folder. You actually have to dive into this folder. Um, and you want to click this little gear. You want to go to show view options. And you're going to see this check mark show library folder. And you want to enable that. Now, if you don't see this, that means you're probably not, uh, you're probably not inside your user account folder. It's not enough to just, you know, start expanding the tabs and, you know, go like this and then go like this and show view options. You can see that it doesn't exist. You actually have to double click and go into that folder. Okay, then you're going to go to show view options and enable this show library folder. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go into library. Let's go into uh, developer. Let's go into Xcode here. I've already got that open. And we want to get rid of two folders derived data. Right, let's open this up. Actually, before I open it up, let's go see how much space this would reclaim. So this one is okay. I would reclaim 600 megabytes. You know, that's some good space there. And this is just data for each of the projects you're working on. They just get regenerated anyways. So sometimes if you haven't touched projects, like you've moved on and you're working on other projects, you can delete the derived data from uh, old projects and even your current project when you rebuild your project it's just going to recreate that stuff uh, this one's a biggie though under iOS device support so it's a combination of iOS physical device you have plugged in and the iOS version you are running with it and if you have been doing iOS for a while you might have accrued a number of these folders they will be regenerated for you when you plug in a device okay so let's see get info this guy is a whopping for me at least 15.55 gigs I'm gonna go ahead and go in there and delete that like that and obviously I'll have to empty my trash as well to reclaim that space but I just got back like 16 gigs yeah so that's it I'm interested to see how much space you guys have reclaimed so uh, leave a comment below the video if you actually do this and let me know if you can beat 16 gigs or even if you don't let me know how much data uh, how much hard drive space you've saved and if you've enjoyed this tip you can browse the archives if you like other tips make sure you join ios dev nuggets and the last thing is before i sign off uh, i just figured i should mention that i i'm not getting anything from this uh, i just discovered ios dev nuggets and i thought this tip was really useful so i'm sharing it with you guys I haven't met or even talked to Hui Boon before, and yeah, I don't, I'm not getting anything from this. All right, so enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.